All right, Miss Carroy, um, nurse gave you all the directions. Um, we think your baby's good to be discharged right now. Okay, so I can um, pretty much take my baby home now, right? You just give us a call if any of the symptoms get worse, if you see any uh, new symptoms pop up. But as of right now, the baby's breathing normally. Um, fever's gone, so. Before I leave, um, I don't want to have an RSV scare again. I don't want to hear it from my mother-in-law either. So how do I prevent RSV? Well, it's simple steps, just like preventing any cold. Um, you want to wash your hands as, mu as much as possible. Um, don't let anyone else kiss your baby. Uh, if anyone has cold symptoms, definitely keep them away at this stage. Alright, but if people aren't exhibiting the cold symptoms like you said, I can have them around my baby, right? My mother-in-law made such a big deal out of it. Your baby's fresh out the oven, so I, I don't recommend uh, the baby being around anyone other than immediate. But like you said before, people aren't the only way that the baby can get sick, right? It's not just me inviting people over that makes the baby sick. Well, yeah, you never know where uh, the baby's gonna get germs, um, but you just wanna be as safe as possible, which is why I recommend not letting the baby see everyone. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, if I have friends and they aren't sick, they're not sniffling, they're not, uh, they don't have hysterical diarrhea or anything like that, I can invite them to see my baby. No, it's no big deal and I don't have to be guilt tripped for it in case the baby does get sick. I, I don't want to feel like it's my fault. If you can be certain that no one you're allowing around the baby is sick and they themselves don't exhibit cold symptoms, it's not the worst thing to have them around your baby, but you're the safest by limiting who the baby sees. But I am not prohibited from letting my baby see people, correct? That is correct. Okay, great. I think I'm just going to take my baby home now. I, I did want to also bring up the fetal alcohol syndrome one more time because down the line, your child could have some behavioral issues regarding- I'm, I'm done like talking now, okay? Uh, discharge papers were over there, right?